What's up, YouTube? It's Ominous. Today we're looking at Rolling Stone's greatest metal songs of all time. I am not sure how this is going to look like. I just saw a tweet from Opeth that their song Deliverance got included, so that was the reason that I was interested. So we're going to see how the list will unfold. I was like, well, it's metal, fuck it, I'm into that, so let's just do it. So, yeah, of course, obviously you're going to have Sabbath, uh, Scorpion, Slipknot, like they're saying here. From the Sunset Strip to Scandinavia. I assume they mean Guns N' Roses with that, which is quote-unquote glam metal, which I'm not sure if I agree with that. Um, I always saw them more as a hard rock band. Scandinavia, I mean, most Scandinavian black metal bands will be on there. You know, like Mayhem and shit, so Burzum. So that will probably on the, be on the list as well. Uh, Opet, of course, because they made me aware that this list exists. Probably what else would, would, would be on there? You know, Maiden, of course. You know, just the classic metal and shit. Personally, I hope some more Mellow Death is on this list, like... In Flames, of course, Dark Tranquility, Dark Tranquility, I'm a huge fan of, or more so in Flames, Chill on Bottom would be great. Uh, some more metal death bands, I guess Winterson, in some, if you consider them that, more of a melodic power metal band, I would say. Um, also some more obscure bands, are they called again, Aether Realm, I think that band is pretty good as well, so maybe some metal death would be on the list. Would be great. Uh, at the gates, I think, obviously, he's going to be on there. So we'll see what uh, what they put on. And Sifrim would be great. You know, some more folk metal. Agalog, I mean, death. Like, kind of the classic staples of metal, I would say. I'm going to give a short, brief, you know, description of what I think. Or of the band, maybe. I'll probably say, you know, I'll, I'll give my opinion on most of the songs if I know them just a summary what I think uh, I'm not gonna talk too much on one song because otherwise we'll sit here forever but uh, yeah, if I have an opinion I'll say it and if not I'll just you know name the artist name the song album etc and then I'll move on so we'll see what they have on the list So, number 100 is Welcome to Hell by Venom, which, of course, you know, is classic early black metal, but I always kind of hated Venom. I hated their production. I hate the singer. He's just kind of a shithead, kind of a scumbag, in my opinion. Um, he's very egotistical, you know, not to go too personally into death, but I never was a huge fan of Venom, so, um, you know... Of course, they deserve a spot on there because they were influential, but they're, they kind of suck, in my opinion. Number 99 is Plants Collide by Crowbar. I've heard of Crowbar, but I'm not that familiar with them. 98, Executioner's Text, Swing of the X, Power Trip, uh, more of a modern trash metal band. I'm not that interested in into modern trash metal. It all kind of sounds the same to me, but... I do like Vector. I think that band is pretty good, especially their first album. I am a fan of. 43% Burned by Dillinger's Cape Plan. I kind of hated Dillinger's Cape Plan for a while, um, but there's one album that I kind of like from them. The Killer is One of Us, I think it's called. One of Us is the Killer, I think is the name. Uh, I think that album is pretty good, but uh, besides that, I'm, not a, I'm pretty mixed on them. They did kind of grow on me. Yeah, Rye by Girl School. I think this is an old school heavy metal band, which I never really checked them out, so not really not really an opinion. Davidian by Machine Ads. I personally think this is their best song. Uh, I'm a fan of how it opens. It opens pretty, you know, um, brute, just kind of in your face, concrete. I, li I like that tone. <laughs> And I think the song itself is like kind of trashy, kind of energetic. And then at the end, it has that a groove breakdown. Good shit. I like the video. Probably my favorite Machine Out song. So good pick. 94, In the Meantime by Helmet. I mean, good song. I do like Helmet, especially their In the Meantime album. 
This is the title track of that. I personally think Unsung, Unsung shits on this song, in my opinion. Um, that song is amazing. The song is just kind of like, it's a good groove, it's good orient, it's good balanced, but it's just kind of, you know, decent, I would say. Unsung has that, you know, that groovy intro, that bass intro, I love that. And especially when it like goes into overdrive in the bridge, I fucking love that. That might honestly be one of my favorite songs. That's a great song. Helmet is a good band. Hammer Smash Face by Cannibal Course. I mean, classic, of course, but I would pick something from there. I was called again. Fucking. I didn't open a Metal Storm uh, either. Uh, their third album, I think, uh, which is third or fourth, is the last one with Chris Barnes. You know, you got some classics on there. Uh, Force Fat Broken Glass is probably my favorite song from them at the moment, but. Uh, I mean, most Cannibal Corpse is decent, so... I mean, this is their classic, of course, so I'm not going to complain. All We Are by Warlock. I am not really familiar with this band. I think glam metal, by the looks of it, hair metal. Not, I'm not sure what the difference is, but... There they are. Pull Me Under by Dream Theater. I mean, classic uh, prog metal staple. This might be uh, the one song that's popula popularized progressive metal in and of itself so you know obviously it's a very influential song it's not my personal favorite with dream theater i mean octavarium shits all over the song in my opinion but i mean it, it is a good gateway song to prog metal so it's definitely influential like i said so it is a good song it deserves to be on air so uh there's that personally you know from the images and words album i think it's a I think is a great album. What would what would be my favorite on there? Maybe I, I love Surrounded, but that's like more of a mood song. But th th it's a great fucking mood. Uh, Take the time is great. Uh, Metropolis. Maybe maybe Pull Me Under is my favorite. Probably my, my personal favorite is either Surrounded or Wait for Sleep. But like as as like an all around track, maybe Pull Me Under, which is kind of a basic track, basic bitch uh, track basic bitch pick but i mean it is a great song it's a great opener to to their career i would say although it's their second album but you know what i mean it uh, did really trend start the dream theater wave bring the noise by public enemy fe featuring anthrax i mean this of course this song and maybe rage against the machine created a new metal i would say like this song alone did so much to new metal so if you don't like i was never a huge fan of the song but it is a very influential song so that's why of course it's de it deserves to be on the list so i would say that but i'm still i'm just kind of whatever on it i was never a huge public enemy guy so there's that number 89 is you can't bring me down by suicidal tendencies i'm not that familiar with su suicidal tendencies suicidal tendencies but i do like them from what i've heard but uh this might be a decent song i personally i probably prefer that was the band called again with with iced tea um fuck how was the band called again oh body count I, I i think uh the cover of body count the called institutionalized uh 2014 is great i love that shit uh it's really fucking funny i recommend it but yeah th there was a uh, suicidal tendencies cover which is probably my favorite moment related to this band so there you go number 88 is this time by love of agony i've never heard of this so I, I don't know 87 is slaughter of the soul but at the gates i mean classic uh, gothenburg melodic death metal band of course I personally always thought that they were probably the most overrated band in the genre. Like either them or Insomnium. I never really got that band. But I do get At The Gates. I do get their sound. I do like it. Um, I personally like Suicide Nation and... Ah, oh, the opening song. I was called again. Fuck. Um... I forgot it, but uh, the opening song of Slaughter of the Souls is pretty classic as well. Um, Bl Blinded by Fear. I love, I love that song. 
That's probably my favorite at the gates moment. I mean, Slaughter of the Soul, the song is classic too, but it's kind of a basic pick. I mean, come on. Now. But it is, it is a good song. Slaughter of the Soul is a good album. I just don't think it's the best melodic death metal album ever, but, you know, that's my opinion. It's a good band though. 86 is 21st, 21st Century Schizoid Man by King Crimson, which is not a metal song. I mean, it's highly influential. It's very experimental. It's borderline hard rock, but no no one ever said uh, 21st Century Schizoid Man is my favorite metal song. No one has ever uttered those words after I just said it. So this is kind of a BS take, I think. Kind of a BS pick. Don't get me wrong. I love King Crimson. I'm not going to shit on King Crimson, but why are they on the metal list? I, I don't get it. Um... I mean, compared, like, when when they were performing uh, besides the Rolling Stones, which is probably the reason they're on there, I mean, they, they fucking blew away the Rolling Stones crowd. Those people were fucking jawed. They, their jaws were on the floor. Because uh, King Crimson rips and tears the fuck open, but they're not a metal band. I mean, come on, uh, they're, they're prog rock. I don't, I don't get it. Hard rock at best, they're not metal. I mean, come on, uh. Great song though. I love uh, I love the song. Uh, pro probably my personal favorite King Crimson song is either uh, "In the Court of the Crimson King" or uh, "Moonchild." I think is great. Great mood, but I mean that's that's a borderline pop song. I'm not into the into the metal shit of King Crimson, if you can call it that. There goes the neighborhood by Body Count. I mean, good song, but like I said, I think uh, their their suicidal tendencies cover is great. That's probably my favorite moment from Bo Body Count. Thunder Kiss by White Zombie. I never got White Zombie. Th this song sometimes comes on when I play Guitar Hero or just on Spotify, and I still don't get it. I'm like, this sounds so mediocre. Why is this band so popular? I, I, I don't get it. 83 is World Eater by Bolt Thrower. I mean, Bolt Thrower is a classic death metal band, and people say, oh, they're, they're flawless, they're a great band. And I'm, I mean, they're just kind of like a meat and bones generic version of death in my opinion because they made they've made like seven eight albums that in my opinion all sound the same i don't really get it they might they might be the actual um acdc of death metal like some people say it's cannibal corpse but but i think cannibal corpse is always like fun and you hear something else with each album in my opinion and I never heard that in Bolt Thrower, so I, I don't get it. I kind of like the first album because it's a bit more raw. But besides that, I'm, I don't get Bolt Thrower. Maybe I'll listen to their last album again because uh, they they ended on that album because they were like, yeah, this is our best album. Let's end it. Let's end on a high note. That, that's the reason that they quit because they, they didn't have anything else to prove. So if you were wondering why Bolt Thrower is not a thing anymore, that's the reason. They literally said it like that, so... There's that. Uh, 82 is Spitz by Kitty. I mean, Kitty is a good band. Kind of like... Um, kind of like a new metal band, I guess. N new alt metal band. Um, Kitty had some great fucking songs. I did definitely say one of them. This is probably my favorite girl band as well, if we're going there. I don't remember the the title of it, but they got some good fucking songs. I don't think that Spit is their best song, but... Uh, or... No, the band is called Spit. Uh, no, no, Kitty. I don't think that Kitty is their best song. But I can't remember their best song. But uh, they got some good shit. They got some good uh, bangers. So I definitely recommend Kitty. They're a good band. We're not going to take it, but Twisted Sister. I personally think that... Uh, how's that song called again? Not this one, but the other one. They're, they're like a two-hit wonder band. Um, I'm gonna rock. I think, yeah, I'm gonna rock. That's probably my favorite. Um, that's that's my favorite twisted sister song. Twisted sister song, especially the live version. No, 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 not the live version. The the SpongeBob movie take. I think that is definitely their best moment for sure. And I mean, it's not even officially twisted sister. It's the cover, so. Again, a cover that I prefer over the bands. My own summer, show it, but Deftones, I mean, great song. I love Deftones. They're one of my favorite alt metal bands, I would say. I don't think I would pick this song, but it is a good pick. 
uh, I would either say Drive Far Away or Change the Dollars of Flies is fucking amazing. And <clears throat> Knife Party is also great. Love those songs. Digital Bath is a fucking move, but that's almost like an alt rock song. Or Passenger with Maynard James Keenan, which is also great. Uh, this is a good song though. Solid take, but maybe I would have picked something else, but it might be their most metal song. Who knows? Balls to the Wall by Accept. I don't, never really got Accept. They just sound like a generic heavy metal band. I don't get it. Um, so yeah, but this is apparently their best album song, I guess. So there you go. Concubine by Converge. I mean, you got so many good fucking Converge songs. I mean, this is from Jane Doe, of course. Um, I personally would have picked like either Hell to Pay, which sounds fucking moody, and then it just breaks down. Love that shit. What else? You got uh, Phoenix and Flight, which is a great fucking instrumental, especially the breakdown. That just fucking hits you like a tidal wave. Um, I definitely would have gone for the title track, Jane Doe. Such a great fucking song, especially um, the intro, just those fucking sludge riffs and how it ends. It just sounds like a fucking a phoenix is, is ripped into fucking half. I love, I love that song. That's one of my favorite songs. Concubine is a solid opener, though. I think it's the opener of Jane Doe, but they have so many better songs, in my opinion. Jesus Christ Post by Soundgarden, probably the most metal Soundgarden song, so it is a good pick. Um, I would almost call this just like hard rock or alt rock. I don't think it's that metal, but it is a good pick. It it might be my favorite Soundgarden song. Yeah, yeah, it's probably my favorite Soundgarden song. It's it's a great song. Either this or you know Black Olson, of course, basic bitch pick, but this is good as well. A fine day to die, but battery. Um, yeah, this is from. I don't remember the title again, but it's from their uh, Bloodfire Death album, which is their most acclaimed album, which I like, but I never really got into it because production sounds really fucking vague to me. I don't know. I, I, I never really got into it. I can't really describe it. I just didn't like it. Uh, personally, I prefer... I'm not going to look shit up, but, you know, from their third album, I think... Um, there's a song on there called A Call From The Grave. I love that shit. So it's a bit more raw, a bit more in your face, a bit more like eerie and shit, which is probably uh, my favorite vibe of Battery. So there are definitely a good songs from Battery. Um, Battery definitely is an influential band. A Fine Day To Die is a classic song though. So I do think it deserves to be on the list, but it's not my personal favorites. But Battery, reg regardless, of course, is a good band. I'm not going to deny that. 75, You've Gone Wild by Skid Row. I'm not a huge Skid Row fan. I think they had like two decent songs or albums and then they kind of turned to shit. So uh, the Smite is probably the most, this is their commercial peak, I think. So there you go. Chopped in Half by Obituary. I mean, there are definitely a lot of classic Obituary songs. Uh, they always kind of sounded like um, a generic version of Morbid Angel or Death. So I never really got fully into them. But they are classic bands. Um, that left dude is wearing his own merch. That's, that's kind of cringe, but... Yeah, there you go. Um, I think this is from their, their second album. Yeah, Cause of Death, which is my favorite Obituary album, probably, or the third one. Yeah, good shit. Um, I mean, the first three obituary albums are pretty classic, so there you go. Do Us by Rammstein. I mean, this is the most basic song you could pick from Rammstein. I would definitely go from something of their second album, Sunay. Or uh, fucking... Is it called Sunay? No, it's not called Sunay. I forgot the fucking album title. Uh, Mutter, I think. Uh, I don't... By the way, I don't speak German, so if I butcher the language, then don't cringe so hard. But Sunday is my favorite song from them. Uh, Duas is a bit overrated, so there you go. But, you know, their, their Mutter album has a lot of classic songs, so I would pick anything over Duas, in my opinion, from that album. You Suffer by Napalm Death. I honestly ne never fully got into Napalm Death. I think they're good, but they're not great, so... Uh, pick and choose, I guess. 
Blood and Thunder by Mastodon. I mean, probably the most metal metal song by Mastodon. So probably their heaviest. I don't think it's my personal favorite. I would pick something from Crack the Sky or um, I love Blood Mountain, you know. Um, Sleeping Giant has a great riff, but, you know, it's less metal. But that's probably my personal favorite or Crack the Sky, the title track is great. So there are definitely a lot of good Mastodon songs. This is, of course, their, their magnum opus, but... It's not my personal favorite, but good song regardless. Messed on the great, so. Uh, Flying Wheels by Gojira, I think. Fly I never really got into Gojira. I think they have a decent groove, but they were never like my go-to groove metal band. Or how would you call them? Alt. What even is Gojira? <laughs> I guess um, an alternative death metal band. Do I say that right? I don't fucking know what they are. Uh, but they are okay. It took me a while to warm up to Gojira. And the only album I kind of like from them is from Mars to Sirius, which, you know, is an obvious pick, but it is their best album. Um, I mean, I love the song Ocean Planet. That song is great. I think that's the, I think that's the opener. Good song. Uh, Flying Wheels is good, but it goes on a bit too long, in my opinion. But there you go. Evil by Merciful Fate. I mean, Merciful Fate is a classic band. I would pick something from their second album, To Break the Oath, I think it's called. Um, I think it's called Gypsy. That's probably my favorite song. It has like a e really eerie, like spooky vibe. So that is great. That's probably my personal favorite. But Evil is good as well, the first album. Um, I think, yeah, it was called Melissa. 68, Running With The Devil by Van Halen. I mean, classic song. Gotta love some Van Halen. I mean, probably my favorite from the from the debut is y uh, You Really Got Me, which is a King's cover, so not really Van Halen. Uh, Eruption, of course, is classic. Um, yeah, or maybe this song. This song is also really good, so... Yeah, I do agree with that. Um... Yeah, so there's that. I don't... I haven't really haven't listened to Van Halen in general for a while. Uh, Dreams are probably my personal favorite, which is a really, like, controversial opinion, but I do stick by my decision. Uh, Blind by Korn. I mean, this song created new metal, so I gotta pay respect to it. It's it's a classic song. Um, what can you say? It's fucking Korn. It's, it's a new metal staple. Uh, probably my favorite song from them is uh, Falling Away From Me, which like, is from the Issues album, which is probably my favorite Korn uh, song, album. I mean, Korn is a fucking classic band. Um, probably my favorite from the self-titled album is Clown. I love how eerie and fucking nasty that song sounds. I mean, most of the like slower, gloomier Korn songs are my favorite because I'm a fucking depressed weep. Um, but I mean, bl I mean, most corn songs sound depressed and gloomy. So corn, in my opinion, is a good band. I mean, they're definitely influential. That's kind of objective. But there you go. Blind is a classic song. Created a whole uh, subgenre. So yeah, you gotta at least respect it. Banger Ad by Metal Health. I mean, I never liked Quiet Right. I don't get the hype. So there you go. Over My Head by King Sex. I never got into King Sex. They just sound like a generic heavy metal band. Um, can someone explain it to me? Because I never liked them. I don't know. Black Number One by Topper Negative. I mean, you got so many good fucking Topper Negative songs. Um, Christian Woman is great. It's probably my favorite from this album. Black Number One, of course, is classic, but it's it's a basic pick. Uh, Love You To Death is amazing. Love that song. Probably my personal favorite at the moment is Anesthesia from um, one of their later albums. I think Life of Death it's called. I'm not sure, but um, yeah. Fucking Anesthesia is great. Uh, especially that, that howl that he does on that song and uh, Love You To Death. Black Number One is a good is a good uh, beginner song though, but it's not my favorite um, type of negative song. Summertime Blues by Blue Cheer. Um, is Blue Cheer a metal band? I don't think so. What are they doing on this list? Dragon Up by Sleep. I never got into sleep. They just bore me. They bore me to tears. They bore me to sleep. So I tried to listen to Dragon uh, It bores me. I don't know. This band puts me to sleep. Uh, maybe I'll give them another shot. But they, they have those fucking albums where there's one song and 
it's that's the whole album. I I don't like that shit. Sleep, that shit puts me to sleep. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop with the with the dad jokes, but you get my point. Sleep is boring in my opinion. Uh, listen to if you if you want good stoner metal, listen to fucking Electro Wizard. If that band is not on air, I'm gonna fucking tear Rolling Stone a new one. Fucking that band is good as shit. We will rise by Arch Enemy. I never got into Arch Enemy. They just they're probably the most generic Gothenburg band in my opinion. I don't get the hype. All of their shit sounds the same when um you know, not to be sexist, but um wh when the first female singer came, all their shit sounds the same. It looks like they more so wanted to create an image instead of good music. That's how it sounds to me. Before that they I think the focus was more on the music. This might be a really controversial opinion, but I don't know. I, I never really got into Arch Enemy. It all sounds the same to me. Just listen to um, fucking Dark Tranquility, Ch uh, Corp, Children of Bodom, or In Flames, you know? Just sounds more interesting in my opinion. People Equals Shit by Slipknot. I mean, good song. It might be their heaviest song. Uh, I don't think it's their best one. I would say Psychosocial or... Uh, Bleed It Out is great or Sur Servicing is their heaviest song fucking hell that song is heavy as shit for Slip on Standards um, yeah those are good songs Th this song is good as well probably my favorite from the Iowa album is Left Behind that song is great as well uh, People People Equals Shit is a good pick but not my personal favorite Freezing Moon by Mayhem uh, I think most of their live shit sounds better because black metal production is ass on purpose, of course, but uh, Freezing Moon is a classic song, of course, Mayhem, so there you go. 58 Reviews Refuse Resist by Sepultura. I mean, this is definitely the most basic song you could have picked from Sepultura. Anything from the Arise album would have worked. You know, Arise itself and that Embryonic Cells is great. Uh, Roots Bloody Roots is might be my personal favorite. I mean, that's their most popular song, but there you go. Basic pick, but, re but Refuse Resist. I mean, it's not even the best album from, uh, how's it called again? Chaos City. Uh, I say Territory or Slave New Worlds are better, but that's my opinion. The Cry of Mankind by My Dying Bride. Um, my Dying Bride is an interesting band. They're, they're like a Death Doom band, and I never really got into Death Doom. Probably my favorite band from the genre is uh, Swallow the Sun. Uh, they are a bit more melodic, so I like that. Um, my Dying Bride is a bit too gloomy for me. I never got into them, but they are a good band, I would say, but not my favorite. Bark at the Moon by Ozzy Osbourne. I mean, classic, classic heavy metal. Uh, probably my favorite, I mean, my favorite from Ozzy is, of course, Mr. Crowley, uh, the live version, or um, No More Tears. Those are great. Bar Bark at the Moon is a great song, has a great opener. And the final solo is amazing. That solo is fucking great. So it definitely deserves to be on the list uh, for that reason alone. I'm more of a Black Sabbath guy personally, but also he has some good, uh, has some bangers, of course. Uh, Caffeine by Fade No More. Mm. Yeah, good song. Yeah, probably something from the Angel Dust album is my favorite. I think, yeah, this came from Angel Dust. Um, I, I haven't listened to Fade No More in a long time. Jesus. I forgot all of the fucking titles, but um yeah, I think ah, fuck. I don't remember. Uh the one with the with the horse in the vid, that's probably my favorite. Uh, Midlife Crisis, that's a, that's a great song. Uh there's uh, Everything's Ruined, I think. It's a great song as well. Yeah, those are probably my favorite. I I'm more of a Mr. Mr. Bungle guy, like you can see at the back there. Um, that's Mr. Bungle's fucking great. Love Mr. Bungle, but Fade No More. I mean, Fade No More is a good band, of course, but um, I was never the biggest fan of them personally. Uh, Photograph, but Def Leppard. I mean, easily the best Def Leppard song, but Def Leppard is still mid as fuck in my opinion. Um, glam metal. I don't like. It. I mean, probably the best band in the genre is either Twisted Sister or, or Monty Crew. Def Leppard is just. They, they they are too po de poopy. Um, they are too poppy, shit as well. <laughs> kind of accurate. Uh, I don't know. Photograph is a decent song now, but I was never a huge fan of them. Forty six and two. Uh, Forty six and two by Tool. Try to say that five times. Um, 
good song. I wouldn't say it's their best one. I mean, Stinkfist definitely goes harder from the Anima album. Uh, Eulogy is probably my personal favorite. I mean, Letter Alice, the title track, is a fucking... That's a journey. That song is a journey. Um, I mean, Anima is probably my favorite vibe of Tool. Uh, 46 and 2 is a classic song, but it's not my personal favorite. Uh, Jambi or Vicarious are great as well. I mean, everything from their first four albums are great. If they just ended at 10,000 days... In my opinion, it would have been a perfect band, but there you go. Still good. Deliverance by Opeth. I mean, this is the reason why I'm here. Because I think Michael Eckerfeld or whoever owns or whoever runs Opeth's Twitter uh, made me aware of this list. So there you go. Deliverance is a great song. Personally, I think that Master's Apprentice is a better song from this album, from the Deliverance album. But Deliverance is a good song, though. Uh, referee, referee Harley Quinn Forest, Bleak Blackwater Park, I mean I can go on forever, Black Rose fucking Immortal, oh my god Hair Parents is probably my personal favorite from Watershed, I mean I can name the entire Opeth's catalog they're my favorite band so either them or In Flames Opeth just yeah, just perfect bands in my opinion uh, Deliverance is great though, especially the ending just goes hard as fuck Slade Man, Godflesh. I never, ne never really got into Godflesh. I mean, they are an interesting industrial band, but it personally never connected with me. I'm down to try them again, but I don't know. Never got into them. Um, I guess I have to go to page two. Hmm. Strange. Procreation of the Wicked by Celtic Frost. I mean, classic, classic song. Uh, this is from their debut album, or their debut EP, I guess, which is good. Not my personal favorite, but... Or, well, maybe their a EP is their, is my favorite, my personal favorite. Um, how was the first... Into the Crypt of Ray, definitely their best song, or Circle the Tyrant, of course. Procreation of the Wicked is a good song, but not my favorite Celtic Frost song. This is probably my favorite early black metal uh, band, though, if you want to call them that. Uh, Circle the Tyrant by Opeth, uh, if we're talking Opeth, is fucking amazing. It's probably better than anything that Celtic Frost has ever done. I mean, I do like the band, but Opeth is on another level. Just One Fix by Ministry. Never really got into Ministry, but I'm down to try it out a bit more because Industrial is interesting. Walk in the Shadows by Queen Trike. This is an interesting picture by uh, from Jeff Tate. But um, good song. It's kind of weird that they didn't pick Empire or uh, Jet City Woman or, you know, Eyes of a Stranger. You know, that would have been my pick. But uh, Walk in the Shadows is a good pick. Um, it's kind of a it's kind of a deep cut, or it's kind of like it's more earlier in their career. It's a good song, but it wouldn't be my pick of the greatest Queen Strike song. But there you go. Locust Star by N Neurosis, definitely my favorite Neurosis song. Uh, a lot of their shit just kind of goes on forever never really got into it personally but i do think that locust star uh, you know how it begins the vibe of it and especially the the fucking breakdown that sludge breakdown that is some chef kiss uh, sh chef's kiss shit i do love this shit if more songs sounded like that from the roses i would have been a bigger in the roses fan so it's definitely the best song good pick 46 is Night Go by Melvins. I mean, this is more of a gloomy pick. I would have gone for uh, Honey Bucket, personally, or Pooch, I think it's called. You know, anything from um, their 93 album is uh, fucking great. How was it called again? Houdini. Classic album, so. Night Go is a good pick, though, but it's not my favorite. Uh, Symphony of Destruction by Megadeth. I mean, the vocals are an absolute joke on this album, so I wouldn't take it too seriously. But, you know, uh, fucking Counter to Extinction is a classic album. I probably would have gone for Sweating Bullets, which has the most ridiculous fucking is isolated vocal tr track ever. It's fucking ridiculous. But, um, but yeah, I mean, Megadeth, they are a good band. I would have picked anything from the, from the Rust in Peace album, which is debatably the greatest metal album ever made. I mean, it's like front to back. It's a fucking classic album. It's, it's tight as fuck, so... I wouldn't pick Symphony of Destruction personally, but I mean, it, 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 um, it's it's a good opener. It's a good gateway to Megadeth and Trash. 
Uh, Green Machine by Kaius. I mean, Kaius just bores me. I don't. I never got them. I might want to try out their their third album again. I forgot the title of it, but um, that album is decent. But I never really got into Kaius. I'm more of a Queens of the Stone Age fan, which I mean is not metal. So Kaius is a good pick, but never really for me. Uh, Bring Me to Life by Evanescence. I mean, uh, classic kind of alt rock, hard rock kind of song uh some people want to call it metal i i guess you know it has some metallic riffs uh i mean my favorite is my immortal which i mean it's personal it's it's a bit more intimate or it's it's a bit more quiet moody and you know when that bridge hits uh, you know mainly in the band version you have one version that's just, just quiet which i think is boring as fuck i think the band version is great because you have that kind of quiet opening and then it bu builds up to the band orchestrating and shit. I think that's great. That's definitely the best evidence of moments, in my opinion. Bring Me To Life is good, though, but it's kind of a meme. It's kind of a dead meme. Curse Your Man by Emperor, which is from their third album? That is a really strange pick. Uh, you would have think that they uh, would have picked To Watch The Pentium or I'm The Black Wizard, which is classic black metal, but Curse Your All Man is a really weird pick. There are even some people that are a fan of the fourth album, which I hate. No one really picks the third album, though. That, that This is a really strange pick. This is really out of left field, in my opinion. Emperor, Emperor is a good band, though, but I don't get it. Uh, Bleed by Mashuga. I mean, classic, classic gen song. This arguably, like, spearheaded the entire gen move. I mean, gen was a thing before this, because Mashuga existed 10 years prior. But... This is definitely their, their their magnum opus song. If you, I mean, uh, if you're not familiar with heavier types of metal, then this is definitely a good gateway to that. A bleed is a great song, so. A Victim of Changes by Judas Priest. Great fucking pick. Uh, this song or Beyond the Realms of Death are probably their most underrated songs. I'm, po um, I'm personally more of a beyond the realms uh type of person but victim of change is great as well um so good pick especially that scream that he does at the end is fucking epic so this song and you know some like sabbath shit i think this is like really the first sound of heavy metal i think so good pick 39 is from the Beltos by metallica i mean it's not my favorite Metallica song. I would have picked I would have picked the title track from Ride the Lightning or One, you know, One is Great, Master of Puppets, or Orion, which is an instrumental. Uh, a lot of good shit from their first four albums, but uh from the Beltles, of course of course, is classic Metallica. Um My personal favorite is probably the Call of Cthulhu, also from Ride the Lightning. Just a lot of good bangers, but from the Beltles is of course classic. Uh Killing in the Name, I mean most generic our ATM song that you could have picked. I am definitely more of a. How uh, the fuck is that? Uh, Evil Empire. I'm more of a fan of that album. I think it has in more interesting grooves. It has more interesting songs. Um, I think Down Rodeo is easily their best song. Just it's political. It's heavy. It's it's it, it just hits you fucking heavy. So the lyrics at least. Um, Killing in the Name, of course, is a classic song, but even from this album, I wouldn't say it's their best one. I mean, uh, Know Your Enemy and Put It in the Hat are also great songs. Uh, probably my favorite song is Bomb Track from this album, from uh, their self titled, but Killing in the Name, I mean, of course, it's gonna get picked. It's a popular staple. Uh, Chop Suey, I mean, same thing. I think uh, SOAD is great. Um, I'm definitely a fan of them. I would have picked, like, either. Um, <sighs> fuck <laughs> Victimity of Obscenity I think is a great song Question is great Question is probably uh, my favorite like quote unquote metal song from them uh, then you have Holy Mountains which is a personal favorite and then you have Soldier Side which is, which is my favorite System of Down song and I mean it is their last song officially they have some like later singles about their government being shit but uh, no new album so in my uh, in my eyes, it's still their like last moment song, and I think they ended it on the best note. So I don't really need any album, in my opinion. "Rocky Like a Hurricane" by Scorpions, I think, is good good song, but 
Yeah, you know, I was never a huge Scorpions fan. If I have to pick a favorite, it's Winds of Changes probably, but that's not metal. That's like a pop ballad. So, uh, there's a good song now, but I would more more so say it's hard rock. Um, some people really shit on me for not calling Scorpions a metal band, but I never heard it personally. <laughs> I don't hear Scorpions being a metal band, but I mean that's just me. I might be deaf. I don't know. Could be. 35 Fade to Black, another Metallica song. This is this is the first time that uh, that a band is reoccurring on the list. But, I mean, of course, that's going to be Metallica. Uh, Fade to Black, I didn't even name that in my original listing. But, yeah, great song. Um, it's like their first ballad. It's epic. It's uh, it's instrumental for the most part. Um, yeah, it's, it's, it's a fucking epic banger. So, I agree with the placements. You might have uh, wanted to narrow it down to just one pick per band to make it more fair but uh, of course Metallica is going to get the special privilege I mean we're going to see Master Puppets as well probably so so yeah more shit to come Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple I think um, good song but I wouldn't call it a metal song I would say that uh, Highway Star is probably their heavy song or Shell in Time is better but uh, Smoke on the Water is a good song, but it's way too overplayed. Kiss Me Deftly by Lita Ford. I was never into her. Might be a good song. I was never interested. Mother by Danzig. I mean, I think that Black Summer Night shits all over the song, but uh, it's 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 a decent drag. It's just too overplayed, and Danzig, I think, is mid. I like Misfits better. Misfits, um, I prefer, so there you go. Heaven and Hell by Black Sabbath. Great pick. Um, probably my favorite Dio era song from Black Sabbath, but you know it's um, I'm expecting some more some more Aussie shit, but this is definitely um, one of the peaks of Dio, and I mean it was his first song with Sabbath, so um, good first impression. Enter Sandman by Metallica. I mean, if you don't know this song, you don't know metal. Let's be fair, <laughs> you can't avoid this song. I don't ever have to hear this song again, but it is a decent song. Um, this song killed Metallica because they chased this success down ever since it came out. And every time they tried, it got worse and worse. So this this song, I kind of have a love-hate re hate relationship with because it is catchy. It is a good opener, a good gateway to metal, but this ruins Metallica. That's why I'm not a huge fan of the Black Album because it, they just kind of sold out sold out in my eyes. It's a decent album, but this album went fucking diamond. So they were never really a metal band anymore. That's, you know, they didn't have to try anymore. They had the, the best-selling metal album ever. So why try, right? Walk by Pantera. I mean, uh, this is the staple of Pantera. Th this song arguably created new metal, so there's that. I'm personally more of a Cowboys to Hell type of person, or I think that Hollow is great, uh, the last song of uh, Vulgar Display of Power, but I mean, Walk, of course, is, is a staple of uh, Pantera. If you don't know the song, you don't know Groove, you don't know Jack. Holy Wars by Megadeth. I mean, this is easily the best Megadeth song, either this or Tornado of Souls, so this is a good pick. Um, this, this is easily top 10 for me. Top 10 best metal songs ever, for sure. Uh, I think it's a bit low, but I mean, it's definitely better than Symphony of Destruction, that's for sure. Living After Midnight. Uh, Victim of Change shits all over this song. This is a really weird pick, in my opinion, but it's, that's Rolling Stone for you. Am I Evil by Diamond Head? I was never a huge fan of Diamond Head, but they did inspire Metallica to pick up a guitar, so there's that. Rainbow in the Dark by Dio. This is probably their heaviest or like. Uh, the most enjoyable Dio song in my opinion or Holy Darf of course but uh, Rainbow in the Dark is a really good pick though so props to Rolling Stone Shout of Heaven by Slayer I mean this is arguably their sl uh, slowest most moody song it's, it's one of their least heaviest songs so why would you pick it for a metal list probably uh, because it's more approachable but I mean Hello Waits or Seasons in the Abyss or Raining Blood is definitely heavier and more iconic, so I would go for that. But it, it's probably going to be on the list later down the road. Shout Out to the Devil by Molly Crew. I mean, um, definitely a, a staple in glam metal, but I wouldn't call it the best one from them. 
uh, definitely kickstart my heart is is easily the best song in my opinion, but there you go. Cut on a Marsh by Anthrax, not my favorite, but I think it's it's their fan favorite. I think it's the fan favorite from them. I mean, uh, from this album, the Among the Living album, I would probably say I'm the Law is my favorite from them, from this album. Air is probably my personal favorite, or my favorite from the Trash era, and my personal favorite is Only. Only is fucking amazing. But that was with, uh, with Jeff Bush, John Bush. I forgot his name, but um, yeah, that that song is fucking amazing. It's kind of like more of a groove oriented metal song, self trash. So that's probably why, because I was never the biggest trash fan. The Trooper by Iron Maiden, I mean, this is the most iconic song. Um, it's a staple of metal, of course, so it's going to be on air. I mean, yeah, good pick. I mean, Hollow Be The Name is definitely the most iconic, epic song, but The Trooper is a good gateway song to metal, so good pick. Around and Around by Rat. I mean, I never liked Rat. Most glam metal I don't get. I mean, look at these fucking outfits. They're ridic ridiculous, so I don't get it. Peace Self by Megadeth. I mean... Another trash metal staple. I, they're kind of repeating themselves now. The list was diverse before this, but now they're kind of just repeating. Uh, Immigrant song by Led Zeppelin. This is not a metal song, but sure. Th this is this is highly influential to metal, but it's not. Led Zeppelin is not not a metal band. Led Zeppelin is not a metal band. I mean, come on, now. not in my opinion. <laughs> ACDC is also not a metal band. Uh, Rolling Stone is kind of butchering it right now. They're kind of choking. Um, I mean, probably my personal favorite uh, ACDC song is Hell's Bells, but that's still not metal. That's still just a hard rock song, so no. <laughs> no. Hollywood Be The Name of Iron Maiden. Yes. This is a masterpiece. Uh, I personally prefer the, um, the Cradle of Filth version i think that song is fucking epic or that version is like a bit more gloomy a bit more grittier so that's my personal uh pick but i mean uh, the original is great as well love it angel of death by slayer probably my favorite slayer song goes hard as fuck just opens up the raining blood album just relentlessly just spearheading it's just relentless great especially the live version uh in still raining is uh my favorite slayer moment Stargazer or Rainbow, amazing song. Amazing fucking song. This, yeah, arguably the creation of power metal in a way. Um, yeah, amazing fucking song. Uh, the drum intro, the, um, the groove oriented intro, you know, that is great. Dio's vocals are fucking amazing on this, uh, on this song alone. Uh, the outro it goes out with the organ and shit. This this is fucking peak peak hard rock or heavy metal. This is fucking peak. Um, definitely should have been in the top ten. Amazing fucking song. Um, yeah, I have I have no complaints. It's it's it, it's a perfect song. Uh, Paranoid by Black Sabbath. I mean, good song, but <laughs> Stargazer. I mean, come on now. Um, War Picks is definitely a more epic song. Heaven and Hell is definitely a better song. Uh, Into the Void, I think, is really good. So there are definitely a lot of epic Black Sabbath songs. I mean, Black Sabbath, the song, is better than Paranoid, I would say. Iron Man, you know, of course. Uh, Paranoid is the most basic pick you could have picked from Black Sabbath. They literally put this on the album to fill time, and it was a filler song. Th that is what Paranoid is. And it's, it's definitely... It's apparently almost in the top 10 of best metal songs ever made. A filler track. <laughs> it's kind of... I don't know. Kind of a joke in my opinion. Cut of Personality by Living Color. Um, definitely a good song, but not in the top 10. It's just it's it's just mid, in my opinion. It's just just a mid-tier uh, mid hard rock metal song, in my opinion. Alt metal. It's barely a metal song, in my opinion. One by Metallica. I mean, classic, of course. Maybe I would have put it in the top 10, but... Um, it is a good pick, I would say. So definitely uh, agree with it. M maybe the heaviest Metallica song as well. Run to the Hills by Our Maiden. I mean, I'll be their name and super are better, but uh, this, is, this is probably the catchiest Maiden song. So there's that. 
Holy Dive by Dio. Uh, Good Pack, probably the most iconic Dio song, but Stargazer shits all over the song, in my opinion. Raining Blood by Slayer. I mean, this is the most iconic Slayer song, so not much to say here, especially the... You know, that breakdown section is classic, of course. It does kind of sound like shit with the production, but that's always how Slayer kind of sounded. So there you go. Iron Man, I mean, this is this might be the most popular metal song ever. So, of course, it's going to be on the list. So no surprise there. Crazy Train, um, definitely Mr. Crowley is better. No More Tears, like I said, Bark at the Moon, I think it's way better. But, you know, Crazy Train is the most iconic uh, Aussie song. Warpix by Sabbath. I mean, they're really repeating themselves now, but Warpix is a good song now. Warpix is my favorite Sabbath song, so this should have been on the list. And Paranoid, you could have left it off, in my opinion. Breaking the Law. I mean, this would have been the perfect spot for Painkiller, but uh, Breaking the Law is okay, I guess. It's it's more of a blues hard rock song, I would say. Um, I might even prefer the Painkiller version of Death. Uh, that is fucking great. I mean, this song is fine, I guess, but not... Top five, nowhere near. Ace of Spades, I mean, I would more so call it a hard rock or punk song. Even uh, Lemmy would have agreed with me there because they think they're a punk band, or he thinks that. Ace of Spades is a classic song now, but it's it's a bit too basic for me to put it in the top three, but it is an iconic song, of course. Uh, Master Puppets, obviously about Metallica, um, obvious staple of metal, so of course it's going to be on there. It's it's like the Bible of trash metal, so yeah, it's going to be on there. What would be number one? Hollow Be The Name uh, was on there already. Uh, Holy Wars was on there already. Uh, more Maiden, though. I think it's going to be uh, Black Sabbath, the song that's created metal. That's probably going to be number one. Yep, <laughs> fucking told ya. Fucking told so. Um, okay, um, this might be the best Sabbath song because this literally created heavy metal. Um, so yeah, I tend to agree with it definitely should have been in top 10. I don't think it's, it's the greatest metal song ever though because Rolling Stone is saying metal never got better after this. It's the first fucking metal song, of course. Of course, there are better uh, metal songs out there than Black Sabbath. It is a great fucking song, though. It's definitely in the top 10 of Sabbath songs, but I wouldn't say it's the greatest one. Okay, so who, who did who did we miss? Uh, there was definitely way too much Sabbath, uh, Maiden, Priest, and Megadeth on there. Way too fucking much. And Metallica, of course, if I didn't say it already. So yeah, we missed uh, Cryptosy. Uh, we, we miss Brutal Death, uh, Isis, you know, Sludge Metal. Uh, we just got Neurosis, uh, Groove Metal, you know. Yeah, you did get Machine Head. Uh, no Lamb of God, no In Flames, no Dark Tranquility, no Children of Bone. And the only Metal Death band that made it was At The Gates. So that was kind of lame. Um, no fucking Death, bruh. No fucking Death. <laughs> Zero Tolerance, um, Crystal Mountain, you know. Uh, Scavenge of Human Source, my personal favorite. Uh, Spirit Crush. I mean, where the fuck is Death? Pull the plug. Uh, lame. <laughs> Jesus. No Death. No uh, Vector. You know, modern trash. Uh, only Power Trip for some reason. I, I don't get that. Uh, no Lamb of God. Uh, new Metal, you know, what didn't make it. Yeah, most New Metal that is iconic made it, I guess. So, uh, no Linkin Park, but I mean. That could have been on the list of the list, I guess, if you if were their their last album. Um, no Insifrum, you know, a Vintral, no Vintral, no um, Catatonia, you know. Um, yeah, this list lacks a lot of good bands and a lot of the like same staples of metal. So kind of boring, but I didn't expect a lot from Rolling Stone. Um, the Converge pick was cool, but, you know, not their best song by a long shot. So I'm kind of disappointed by the li by this list, but that is Rolling Stone for you. So it's not like I expected a lot. Um, thanks for watching this. If you have more suggestions for me to look at list or react to shit or make an own list or something, then uh, ask me, suggest it, comment it. I'm down. I'm open for suggestions. Uh, this is it. It was a fun vid. So, um yeah, like, subscribe, um, share it with a friend uh, who's also into metal. So 
Uh, and yeah, and uh, I'll see you guys the next time. Thanks for watching and peace.